This is Sophie. Sophie is very happy as recently she received some support from her nurse Kelly on how to use her Minimed 670G pumps auto mode. After some time had passed, the shield icon on her pump's display screen turned from blue to grey. However, Sophie remembered what Kelly had told her to do when this happens. Sophie knows that when the smart guard shield icon turns from blue to grey, it means that auto mode delivers a safe basal. This means that the pump isn't using the sensor's glucose values to adjust the basal dose, but provides a fixed insulin delivery based on safety calculations. Sophie's pump is delivering a safe basal now, and this can happen for different reasons. For example, the sensor isn't providing a glucose value because her pump has stopped communicating with the sensor's transmitter. Sophie reads the text on the pump and confirms the message. She will then need to follow the instructions on what to do next. Sophie knows that her pump can deliver a fixed, safe basal for up to 90 minutes. During this time, Sophie can take the correct steps to return her pump to auto mode. Sophie knows that the safe basal mode is no cause for concern. All she has to do is follow the pump's on-screen instructions and return to auto mode delivery. If she does this before the 90 minutes of safe mode expire, then the pump won't enter manual mode and there are no further steps for her to take. Before it transitions back into auto mode, Sophie knows that every so often her pump may request a BG. If more than 90 minutes pass, Sophie's pump will go into manual mode and deliver her programmed basal rate. Ideally, she should react as fast as possible to return to auto basal again. If this happens, the smart guard suspend features will be turned off, so if you must remember to turn them back on. There will be a message on the pump stating that suspend before low and suspend on low is switched off. She needs to remember to switch them back on. If she needs to do anything, Sophie is aware that the pump will notify her with the appropriate alert. Kelly showed Sophie that when her pump has an alert, the notification light will flash. The pump will display an on-screen message explaining the alert, and depending on what audio options Sophie has chosen, the pump may beep and vibrate. Today, Sophie has received the maximum delivery alert. To deal with this alert, Sophie has to perform a BG test, enter the value into the pump, and wait to see if the pump determines that it is okay to resume auto mode. Sophie remembers what Kelly told her about how to differentiate between a BG request and a calibration request. A BG request is used by the system to continue auto basal delivery, and a calibration is to ensure sensor accuracy and generate glucose values. Sophie knows that she doesn't necessarily need to perform a calibration when her pump requests a BG. Sophie is relaxed because she knows that all she needs to do is follow the pump's on-screen instructions to return to auto mode and that any alerts she finds unfamiliar are fully explained in the Getting Start guide she received during her meeting with Kelly.